can Iowa State really beat Penn State at the collegiate duels? Let's talk about the blue pool. How's it going everybody? My name is Jesse and welcome to my wrestling show where we talk about the greatest sport in the world. And we have the Journeyman Collegiate Duels coming up this Monday and Tuesday, December 19th and December 20th. This is one of my most favorite events because there are so many high level teams and high level wrestlers that are gonna be duking it out on a wrestling mat. This event is going to be aired on Rockfin, so you do have to have a Rockfin subscription. And there is a, also a $15 pay-per-view fee to view this event. So you're looking at about $25 to watch this event. But let's go ahead and dive into the wrestling. So at the Journeyman Collegiate Duels, I wanna talk about the blue pool. In the blue pool, there are two sub pools within the blue pool. So Iowa State, Oregon State, Cornell are gonna wrestle each other. And then Central Michigan, North Carolina, and Penn State will all wrestle each other. And the winners of each sub pool will wrestle in a first place match for the blue pool championship. And then a third place match and then a fifth place match. Oregon State is a quality team. They did really, really well at the NCAA tournament this past year. But I do not see them being able to pick up a dual meet victory at this point over a team like Iowa State and Cornell. And the same could be said for Central Michigan and North Carolina. They do have some quality wrestlers in some spots. They're just not going to be able to pick up a dual win over Penn State. And so I'm not going to go super in depth on those particular matchups, but I did want to touch on a few matchups within the Penn State and UNC, du UNC duel. 141 pounds, Bo Bartlett versus Lachlan McNeil. Now, Lachlan McNeil is ranked number 25. He has had a little bit of a slower start this season. I do believe he is a better wrestler than his 25th ranking. And so this will be a good test for Bo Bartlett. At 149 pounds, we have Shane Van Ness potentially versus Zach Sherman. Zach Sherman hasn't wrestled this year. If he does, this will be a good test for Shane Van Ness up against a previous All-American. And then Carter Storacci versus Clay Lout. It is a top 10 matchup. I do think Carter wins this fairly easily. I just watched Clay Lout lose to App State's 174 pounder, but it is a top 10 matchup, so I wanted to mention it. Let's dive into the Cornell versus Iowa State match. This match, it could go so many different ways. Cornell is favored in four matches, while Iowa State is favored in six matches. The big thing here is if Yanni Diakamahalis is going to wrestle. I've heard a couple different things. Mike Gray has mentioned that they will have their full lineup. However, at the World Cup, Yanni made us believe that we might not see him at the collegiate duels. So I don't really know what to expect if we'll see him or not. I hope we do. But if Yanni doesn't wrestle, it gets really, really tough for Cornell to win this dual meet. If Yanni does wrestle, I actually like Cornell to win this dual meet. While Iowa State is favored in six matches, I really like Brett Unger to get the win over Kaizen Terakina at 125 pounds, putting the dual meet at five and five apiece. I think if Yanni wrestles, I favor Cornell with the bonus points, with Yanni and with Vito and with Chris Foca. I think they get the bonus points, which edges them over Iowa State. The four matches that Cornell is favored in, they're pretty heavy favorites. So their floor is really winning four matches. Now the six matches Iowa State is favored in are a lot closer. 
For example, at 184 pounds, you have Jonathan Lowe versus Marcus Coleman. While Marcus Coleman is the favorite with higher ranking, that really is a toss-up match. The same could be said at 285 pounds. At 125 pounds, which I actually did pick, I do pick Brett Unger to get that win. And at 141 pounds, Vince Cornelia versus Casey Swiderski. Now, I do think Casey Swiderski wins that match fairly convincingly, but Vince Cornelia has shown a lot of promise in the past. Casey Swiderski does need to be ready to compete in that match. But this is going to be a great, great matchup. I'm excited to see so many matches here. I'm really hoping we see Yanni versus Panero Johnson. I think that would be an awesome match. Julian Ramirez versus David Carr, a top 10 matchup. And then, as I mentioned, 184 pounds, a top 10 matchup of Jonathan Lowe versus Marcus Coleman. The winner of this match gets the wrestle Penn State. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you don't, your favorite team might lose their next dual meet. Wink, wink, nod, nod, Penn State, Cornell, Iowa State. If you get my drift, subscribe. You don't want them losing to be your fault. So make sure you subscribe and just take that off the table. So let's get back into the wrestling. Now, I don't know if Cornell or Iowa State will win. So I want to talk about both matchups with Penn State. Now, only one's going to happen. Penn State is only going to wrestle Cornell or Iowa State. But I want to talk about the potential matchups for both teams. There's so many good ones. I wish they would just wrestle. I wish Penn State would just wrestle both. That would be awesome. But Cornell versus Penn State. If we get Cornell versus Penn State, we get Vito Arruja versus Roman Bravo Young. The question has been this season, can Vito wrestle with RBY and Dayton Fix? If Cornell wrestles Penn State, we're going to find out if that's the case or not. Pretty similar styles, both very scrambly. Should see a lot of great action in this match. I do think Roman Bravo Young gets the victory. Vito is a high-level wrestler. It should be a very, very fun match to watch. At 141 pounds, you have Bo Bartlett versus Vince Cornelia or Bo Bartlett versus Casey Swiderski. Both are going to be really, really good challenges for him. The thing with Bo Bartlett is you continue to want to see him. And the same can be said for Shane Van Ness and Alex Facundo. You want to continue to see these guys. They've passed all the check marks up to this point. They've won their matches. They're undefeated on the season. But they really don't have a top 15, a top 10 marquee win. Bo Bartlett would get that with a win over Casey Swiderski. Shane Van Ness would certainly get that with a win over Yanni. And he would get that with a win over Panero Johnson. Alex Facundo, Julian Ramirez, or David Carr. They are going to see quality matches at this tournament. If you're a Penn State fan, I'm the most excited I've been all season to watch Penn State wrestle for this reason. You will know for sure where these guys stand. They've looked really good up against Lehigh, up against Oregon State, but you haven't gotten to see them up against guys like a Panero Johnson, a Julian Ramirez. So you're going to know exactly what you have in these talented freshmen. Carter Storacci versus Chris Foca. I mentioned this one. They wrestled a really, really close match last year at this event. Chris Foca almost came out with the upset if it wasn't for a third period ride out from Carter Storacci. And then, of course, you have to mention Max Dean wrestling his old team in Cornell wrestling Jacob Cardenas. Iowa State versus Penn State. I touched on a few of these matches. Younger Bastida versus Max Dean. That should be a really, really exciting match. Returning national champ versus the number two ranked wrestler right now. Could Iowa State beat Penn State? There's a slim, slim chance that that would happen. Iowa State is favored in four matches. Kaizen Tarakina over Gary Steen. Panero Johnson over Shane Van Ness, David Carr over Alex Facundo, and Younger Bastida over Max Dean. They're favored in four matches. They only need one more. 
Casey Swiderski over Bo Bartlett. That would be five wins for Iowa State. Now here's where you run in the problem. Bonus points. Let's say Iowa State pulls off all those wins. Penn State probably still wins the duel with bonus points. I actually like Max Dean to beat Younger Bastida in this match. I do think David Carr beats Alex Facundo. I do like Casey Swiderski to get the win over Bo Bartlett. Shane Van Ness versus Panero Johnson. I have no idea. I don't know what to pick in this match. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I'm leaning towards Shane Van Ness, but I just really don't know. It should be a really, really fun duel. If you're an Iowa State fan, if you're a Penn State fan, you got to be jumping out of your skin to watch these two teams battle up against each other. A lot depends on Yanni to see which matchup we get. Either way, it's going to be an awesome event. Make sure you tune in. So that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Let's build a community around the sport that we love. And I'll see you in the next video.